Welcome to Spaceverse, your portal to cosmic adventures. Around 11 billion years ago, immense black holes began stifling the very process of star formation, reshaping the trajectory of cosmic evolution. A groundbreaking revelation from the James Webb Space Telescope's observations of the distant spiderweb protocluster exposes a striking disparity. Galaxies hosting supermassive black holes have largely halted star formation, while others continue to flourish. Scientists aimed Webb's near-infrared camera at 19 galaxies within this ancient cluster, situated a staggering 11 billion light-years away. Their findings suggest that galaxies dominated by colossal black holes are experiencing a slowdown in star birth, whereas those without them remain active nurseries of new stars. Beneath these observations lies a deeper enigma, one that could redefine our understanding of galactic life cycles. Stars emerge when vast clouds of cold hydrogen gas collapse under gravity, heating up until nuclear fusion ignites and a new star is born. This process emits a distinct type of radiation that Webb's instruments like NIRCOM can detect. By mapping this radiation, scientists pinpointed which galaxies remain fertile grounds for star formation and which have gone dormant. Here's where things get intriguing. Astronomers have long known that older galaxies produce fewer stars over time initially assuming this decline resulted from a depletion of cold hydrogen gas. However, Webb's observations uncovered a puzzling twist. Some galaxies barely a billion years old were already showing signs of star formation slowdown. That's far too soon to be running out of fuel, raising an urgent question. What's really happening to these galaxies? Scientists began to suspect that black holes might be to blame. When galaxies collide and merge, the black holes at their centers devour vast amounts of matter, growing into enormous giants with millions of times the sun's mass. But they don't just sit idly while consuming gas, they can eject some of it in high-speed jets, acting like cosmic blowtorches that strip galaxies of the very material needed to form new stars. The spiderweb protocluster provides an ideal setting to test this idea. Because it's so distant, we see it as it was less than 3 billion years after the Big Bang, an early stage in the universe's history. With its dense concentration of massive galaxies and their supermassive black holes, it serves as a perfect cosmic laboratory for studying the link between black holes and star formation. Elliptical galaxies, large round clusters of stars, are known for their low star formation rates. Scientists believe these galaxies form from major mergers, where young galaxies crash together, destroying their spiral structures and sending stars into chaotic orbits. In the process, their central black holes merge as well, creating even larger supermassive black holes. Over time, these black holes can become some of the most massive in the universe. As matter spirals into these behemoths, it emits intense X-rays, signals that telescopes like NASA's Chandra X-ray Observatory can detect. By comparing these X-ray observations with star formation data from the James Webb Space Telescope, scientists uncovered a striking pattern. The galaxies with the most voracious black holes had the lowest rates of star formation. This isn't the first time scientists have suspected that black holes might be expelling gas from galaxies, but the findings from the spiderweb cluster provide especially compelling evidence. Unlike past studies, this research shows a consistent pattern across an entire group of galaxies of similar age. Out of the 19 galaxies examined, 8 had highly active supermassive black holes, while the remaining 11 had relatively quiet centers. However, researchers acknowledge that there's still much to uncover. Other forces could be influencing star formation, and the connection between black holes and their host galaxies is likely more complex than it appears. Still, the current evidence strongly suggests that black holes play a key role in determining whether a galaxy continues producing stars. One possible explanation is that black holes grow in bursts, consuming vast amounts of matter during short but intense periods of activity. These bursts may be triggered by galaxy mergers, which funnel gas toward the galactic core, feeding the black hole. Another theory suggests that some black holes may have started out much larger than previously thought possibly forming directly from massive gas clouds instead of collapsing stars. The James Webb Space Telescope's ability to peer deep into the past is now providing new data to test these ideas. 
Beyond studying how black holes influence star formation, the next phase of research using the James Webb Telescope is already uncovering even more groundbreaking discoveries. It has been three years since Webb launched into space, with the ambitious goal of unveiling the universe's earliest secrets. Building an instrument capable of looking back almost to the Big Bang might seem like an impossible feat, yet that's exactly what Webb is doing. More than just capturing stunning images, this advanced observatory is working to unravel the origins of stars, galaxies, and planets, and what ultimately happens when they reach the end of their lifetimes. One particularly fascinating recent discovery involves the Sombrero Galaxy. While its name suggests the shape of a hat, it doesn't quite resemble one, but it remains an intriguing object nonetheless. Thanks to Webb's mid-infrared capabilities, astronomers have been able to observe details of its smooth inner disk and outer ring clumps that had remained hidden from conventional telescopes. Shifting focus, astronomers have detected an incredibly ravenous black hole devouring matter at an astonishing rate. Located in a dwarf galaxy from roughly 1.5 billion years after the Big Bang, this cosmic giant is consuming material 40 times faster than scientists previously thought possible. In another remarkable discovery, Vega, one of the brightest stars in the night sky, has been observed in greater detail. The telescope detected warm dust glowing in its outer regions. While Hubble previously revealed a smooth disk of fine dust, the surprising twist is that no large planets appear to be nearby, just Vega surrounded by a collection of space debris. Meanwhile, a stunning new image was created using data from both Webb and Hubble, capturing two spiral galaxies engaged in a mesmerizing cosmic dance. The image highlights regions rich in star-forming gas and dust. Another intriguing observation comes from Centaur 29P, a celestial object orbiting between Jupiter and Neptune. The telescope caught at releasing jets of carbon dioxide and carbon monoxide, akin to an asteroid venting cosmic gas clouds. Adding to the list of strange findings, scientists discovered a galaxy from about a billion years after the Big Bang, where the surrounding gas shines even brighter than its stars. Researchers believe this could represent a crucial stage in the evolution of galaxies. The next section delves into even more unexpected revelations about galaxies and planets. Webb's advanced instruments have identified WASP-107b, a bloated gas giant exoplanet with significantly less methane in its atmosphere than expected, suggesting that its core may be much hotter than previously thought. Additionally, another gas giant located about 280 light-years away has been found to experience extreme winds, reaching staggering speeds of up to 8,000 km per hour. In a breathtaking image of the Horsehead Nebula, despite still not resembling a horse, the telescope unveiled intricate details of the interactions between gas and dust. Meanwhile, in the Ursa Major constellation, astronomers observed a starburst galaxy forming stars at a rate 10 times faster than the Milky Way. The instruments even detected alcohol molecules in the icy regions of a molecular cloud, suggesting that such compounds were present during the early stages of star and planet formation. Shifting to the Triangulum Galaxy, the observatory identified more than 200 young massive stars emerging in a region located 2.7 million light-years away. Additionally, it provided strong evidence of a neutron star residing at the heart of a supernova first recorded in 1987. One particularly unusual discovery is that some early galaxies appear unexpectedly elongated, shaped more like pool noodles or surfboards than traditional spirals or ellipses. The telescope made a groundbreaking discovery on Jupiter's moon Europa, detecting carbon dioxide on its frozen surface. Scientists believe this carbon dioxide likely originates from a vast subsurface ocean beneath the moon's icy crust, potentially providing critical insights into Europa's habitability and the possibility of extraterrestrial life. In another extraordinary achievement, the telescope captured light from a massive star located an astonishing 28 billion light-years away, the most distant individual star ever observed. This remarkable feat was made possible through a natural phenomenon known as gravitational lensing, in which the immense gravity of a foreground galaxy acted as a cosmic magnifying glass, bending and amplifying the star's light to make it visible from Earth. The telescope also observed an enormous water vapor plume erupting from Enceladus, one of Saturn's moons. 
Stretching nearly 10,000 kilometers, this plume likely contributes to Saturn's rings. Additionally, it provided a detailed look at a mini-Neptune exoplanet about 40 light-years away, revealing a cloudy, steam-filled atmosphere. Among the most spectacular discoveries is a luminous infrared galaxy formed by the merger of two spirals, located 250 million light-years away. This cosmic collision triggered an intense burst of star formation. Finally, the telescope captured striking images of Cassiopeia A, the youngest known supernova remnant in our galaxy, showcasing its expanding debris field in stunning detail. Returning to exoplanets, the Space Observatory measured the day side temperature of TRAPPIST 1b, a rocky world located about 40 light years away. Its intense heat suggests a lack of a significant atmosphere, leaving it exposed as a barren, rocky landscape. In one of its most striking discoveries, the instrument captured an enormous star on the brink of explosion. These wolf rayet stars are massive, intensely bright, and short-lived, eventually ending their lives in dramatic supernovae. A deep-field image of Pandora's cluster revealed three merging galaxy clusters coming together to form a massive supercluster. The gravitational lensing effect from this merger amplified the light from even more distant galaxies offering an unprecedented look at the early universe. Closer to our cosmic neighborhood, the telescope detected a small asteroid in the main belt between Mars and Jupiter. While not particularly remarkable on its own, this detection demonstrates the instrument's ability to track small celestial bodies, an important capability for monitoring potential Earth-bound asteroids. One of the most dramatic sights captured was a dusty disk left behind after a planetary collision offering a detailed glimpse into the chaotic aftermath of planet formation. Meanwhile, a star-forming region in the small Magellanic Cloud, about 200,000 light-years away, showcased abundant dust and hydrogen clouds, the essential ingredients for creating new stars and planets. In the Carina Nebula, the observatory revealed previously hidden jets and outflows from young stars, exposing molecular hydrogen crucial for the star formation process. In the Southern Ring Nebula, the interaction between multiple stars sculpted intricate, curving structures. By working with the Gaia Observatory, astronomers were able to estimate the mass of the central star before it shed its outer layers. One of the more haunting images captured by the instrument was the iconic pillars of creation in the Eagle Nebula. This view highlighted the towering gas and dust formations while filtering out starlight, offering a fresh perspective on the cosmic nursery. Another striking discovery featured a distant quasar encircled by a developing galaxy cluster from 11.2 billion years ago, shedding light on the early stages of galaxy formation. The observatory also uncovered a remarkable binary star system encircled by at least 17 concentric rings of dust. These rings are not static structures, but dynamic imprints of the star's orbital interactions. Every eight years, as the two stars draw closer in their elliptical dance, their gravitational and stellar winds trigger the formation of a new dust ring. Over time, this recurring process has produced a striking pattern that resembles the growth rings found in tree trunks or the intricate swirls of a fingerprint. Each ring serves as a cosmic timestamp, preserving a detailed record of the system's orbital history and offering astronomers valuable insights into the physics governing binary star evolution. Lastly, in a collaborative effort with Hubble, the telescope observed NASA's DART mission, which involved deliberately crashing a spacecraft into an asteroid to test methods of planetary defense. The telescope also delivered the sharpest view of Neptune's rings in decades, unveiling seven of its moons and bringing the faint Zeta ring into focus. For those who aren't fans of spiders, it captured a breathtaking high-resolution image of the Tarantula Nebula, revealing tens of thousands of young stars in stunning detail. And to wrap things up, the observatory imaged the Cartwheel Galaxy, a rare ring galaxy born from a high-speed collision, highlighting its luminous inner ring and an expanding outer ring teeming with star formation. Before we go, here's something to think about. If we can crash spacecraft into asteroids, when will humanity take its next giant leap? And that's it. Thanks for exploring the universe with Spaceverse.
from black holes shaping galaxies to mysterious exoplanets and ancient cosmic collisions, the universe is full of surprises. What discovery excites you the most? Let us know in the comments and don't forget to like and subscribe for more.